All right, so all of my case OGs stand up. This one right here, I know a lot of you might be case rookies, all right? Case just beginning. You still got Similac behind you, you know, in your breath and you behind your ears. Similac will go behind your ear. But this is going to be one of the OG cases out there. They don't really make it for the iPhone like that, but they make it for Samsung. When I got my package in from speaking, I was like, yeah, yeah, I got to use this for a day or so and we got to talk about this because this case right here is the Spigen Neo Hybrid. One of my favorite cases. I want to see this for the iPhone, man. Find some way to bring this for the iPhone. It could be available. I just haven't tried it yet and I didn't see it out there, but Spigen Neo Hybrid, let's go ahead and get into it. So this is going to be another one for the S24 Ultra. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now, when it comes to the Neo Hybrid, this is a dual case design, all right? So it's a two-part case, but you don't got to take it apart. Keep all these cases designed down, but as you can see right here, as I push right here, you can take this case off. You can take the rubber piece off, which is the case is mostly comp you know, comprised of rubber, but on the sides that holds everything it is going to be a plastic shell. Now, anytime you might want to just bump it up a little bit, speaking, this is just, you don't got to do this, but if you can give us like an aluminum or maybe like a, man, that was just bring the Neo Hybrid to the next level. I'm just dropping these little tidbits of what Teddy Gatine wants to see in the case, all right? But that's going to be what it's constructed of. Basically, you're going to get your rubber, you're going to get that little design when it comes on the back, and you will get your plastic surrounding that goes all the way around it. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at it. So on the back side, you're going to get a different type of camera layout. Now, you guys know I'm not a fan of the push and pee, is what I call it, the big, uh, ugly pee cutout. I'm not a fan of this, but I'm not mad at the way Speaking did this. They did the three individual camera cutouts and then made one big cutout for the sensors. I'm not mad at that. That still looks clean in my opinion. Flipping over on the inside, ah, MagSafe users, you got to stand by and stand down, as my guy Floss would say. We don't have MagSafe, okay? It is still working while it's charging, but it's not giving that circle MagSafe goodness. So, speaking, I'm not sure if you can do it, man. I just feel like at this point, let me know. If you're a Samsung user down below, do you use MagSafe? Let me know down below. So, that's going to be basic construction. On the back, you're going to get your cutouts. On the side, you're going to get your rubber buttons. We'll kind of get into that a little bit more when we actually get the phone in. But let's go ahead and weigh the case real quick. So, let's bring our scale over here. Let's pop it on the scale and we are talking about this being 50 grams when it comes to a case which i don't feel like is 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 terrible but let's go ahead and get the s24 ultra in and once again this is a two-part case you do not have to take it apart to install it you basically just snap it in press all around the corners get your screen that good wipe down on your shoulder that's your best your best uh type of thing on your shoulder and let's go ahead and weigh it again so let's see s24 with the speaking neo hybrid on 293 grams and of course i do have a screen protector for all of the the mathematicians out there to be doing my math that be trying to take my math so let's go ahead and take a look at it i feel like this case goes beautiful with the what is this the titanium gray the i call i call everything natty all right Team natural titanium iPhone 15 Pro Max. I'm gonna call this natural titanium as well. So I feel like it really goes good, even though you don't see much of the actual case. I do feel like it goes really good when it comes to. And let me put my phone because it is blowing up right now. I feel like it does go really good with the natural titanium ish S24 Ultra. So let's go ahead and step around the case. So on the top side, it's gonna get that plastic, which is very smooth. We'll talk a little bit about that. That's kind of a, a gripe when it comes to this case. You have your cutouts here for your speakers. On this side, you get nothing, of course, because there's no buttons. On the button side, you're going to get a volume up and down with your air slits. Every button over here has your air slits. If that's something that you care about, I got to mention it because that's what's there and that's what it is. But when it comes to the buttons, perfect buttons, the tactility, the audible click, everything is good. Your volume up and down, smooth buttons, your power button is going to have a little rib design, going to have a little bit of texture so you can kind of distinguish between the two when it's in your pocket and when you're fuddling around with your phone in your pocket. I was about to say something else and get this video demonetized. Flipping it over on the, bo the, the bottom side, you're going to get a big generous cutout. <laughs> a big generous cutout for your type c and your little port right there you're going to get your speaker and you're going to get your your actual tapered s pin port look at that s pin port up close all right you got a little bit of taper design so it's a little bit easy to get out of there easy to get there to get your to get your finger up inside the hole to get your S pin out. So that's kind of good to see. Flipping over on the back, there you go. Looking at that camera lens, which I feel like is a very clean layout, very precise, 
just looks very good in my opinion. Now, once again, like I stated, before we get to the lay on the table protection, this is gonna be the camera protection. This is the reason why I like this design because your cameras are a little bit more recessed in there. And each one of these little lenses has a little lip that goes around the camera, which is gonna give it an even another little, just a layer of protection. So I can definitely appreciate the attention to detail that they did with this, with really recessing the actual, the, the sensors and everything right here. But on this side, giving those lenses an extra little lip to give you that extra little bit of protection. It's the small attention to details when it comes to these companies. <clears throat> Flipping over on the front side, as you can see right there, and sorry, I had to get some in my throat. I said, <clears throat> I had to get that in me. Let's go ahead and get back to it. <laughs> Flipping it over on the, the top right here, you see you do, I do have a tempered glass screen protector on here. And even with that, you do get two little, you get the top side, which is gonna be actually have a little lip and the bottom side. The size of them has lips, but it's nothing that serious. But your ma majority of your protection is going from the top side and the bottom side when it comes to this case. And it will do good when you were talking about sitting down on the table. You don't got to worry about that display touching, just like the cameras as well. That camera is going to be protected there as well. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the fit because I love fits that has a rubber base with something that's going to grasp along all sides of it to give it a very nice fit. And when it comes to that, man, let's start off with the sides very snug you see you get a little bit of movement but it's nothing too bad you really got to kind of get there and pull but even when it comes to the buttons you still get a little bit of pull this is not bad and when you come to the top and the bottom top you barely get no pull bottom you do get a little pull but this is very thick rubber that goes all the way around so it's not anything flimsy it's going to give out this is a very thick rubber so you really kind of have to pull look at my thumbs you can tell i'm really pulling it just every day using it you're not going to get any pull or anything like like that and the fit is good once all these four corners snap on you kind of have to pop it off but all those four corners just snap on with authority there is no corners that feel like it's just going to pop off easy this case the phone fits really nice inside of this case now let's go ahead and talk about my first gripe with it on how it feels in your hand now the thing about this case is it doesn't give you a lot of bulk we know we all love a naked s24 ultra but the thing about it is we got to keep these things protected and we don't really put on putting anything that's too bulky up there. But when it comes to this, I feel like it doesn't add a bunch of bulk. I feel like this still keeps things very thin, very minimal, especially to a lot of other cases out there in the market. This thing is more on the thinner side and I'm here for it. But one thing that I would like to see improve is the grip. All right. This case is slippery. I will say that. So when you're holding on to the sides of it, no, I just not put any lotion on. I got ashy hands right now. This case is a little bit on the slippery side. Now, is it going to be a deal breaker? For some people, that might be a deal breaker. Other people, like me, if I had to use this case, I feel like I could easily get over it. But I just, I just wanted to mention when it comes to this area down here, you don't get any type of texture breakup or any edges to kind of give you a little bit of more grip. You don't get any of that. The sides are going to be just completely smooth. So I wanted to basically let you know that this case could be a little bit slippery. Now, as in digging into your hands when you're holding it, because we know this is a big phone, especially if you got your little tiny little hands out there. You're, you're big mitts over here, man. When you got this phone like this, it really doesn't dig in my finger a lot, dig in my hand. It could because the edges are sharp when it comes to the overall design of the phone itself, but it's not bad. I don't think you'll be worried about it. This is rubber is kind of smooth and tapered on the ends so i don't really think you'll have a big deal about it now let's go ahead and make sure that i do have wireless power share turned on and let me let me see uh power share because i want to test that you know I, yeah, wireless power sharing it always cuts off i want to cut it back on so let's just cut on and see make sure wireless power share works as you see, cheating, putting a set of AirPods up here, that does work. You heard that being so this case does work with wireless power sharing. If that's what you do, if that's your thing. Also, just bringing a wireless charger over here. It works just fine with wireless charging. Of course, doesn't have MagSafe, but it's okay. If you're not MagSafe crazy, you don't know what you're missing. But I mean, we like everything MagSafe over here. That's how we get down. But this is going to be the speaking Neo Hybrid. And the best part about this case, man, you can get it on Amazon. You can get it quick. This case is $18.99. This is an absolute steal for this case. So if you're interested in this case, go out there and pick it up. Neo Hybrid is a classic. It's still an amazing case. If I had to change two things about it, I'll add MagSafe. It's not big of a deal, but I would like to add a little bit more grip when it comes to this Neo Hybrid. Other than that, everything about this case is absolutely perfect. So the links down below, go check it out. If you have something else other than an S24 Ultra, I'll put those links down below as well so you can go get it. But I think this is an OG and I think they did the Neo Hybrid brand really well.